Now we're at the part where we're going to try and paint uh, this one span. This um, is a grey colour, an acrylic craft paint. And I should add in here that, uh, yeah, once again, there is the, the grey acrylic paint. But I did add in a little dab of acrylic blue, sky blue, or light blue violet, just to give it that battleship blue-grey. And then I scraped on, or scrubbed on some black, uh, just to give it a little bit of mixture and that's how I ended up with uh, uh, the staining and rusting. Many bridges were painted a grey, battleship grey or variations of that colour so we're going to try this, see how it goes. Uh, I'll just go ahead and paint it and see how it turns out. Um, maybe it will dry a little bit lighter, uh, but that's okay. And my intention is to go back in after the fact and do a bit of weathering uh, to simulate some rust or staining from the rain and industries and smoke coming from the trains. So it's kind of like watching paint dry here. So I'm going to stop it and we'll catch up. So as you can see, uh, a nice coat of paint can cover up a number of errors or let's say, imperfections in the fabrication. And I think this will probably require a second coat running out of places to hold it uh, without putting finger marks on it. A few bald spots there that need a touch up and I can probably get most of that on the second coat running out of uh, the actual mix that I made. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll paint the bottom uh, after this is dried just so they get a bit of balance and I don't get unwanted warping uh, through the build. And there are a few imperfections showing up through the paint but that's okay because steelwork wasn't always perfect looking. So now we get to the challenging part, how to effect some rust on the structure. I'm going to try a burnt umber to begin with. You know, hopefully it will work out. If it doesn't, I'll need to paint over it. So I'm going to try and apply it with a, a broken coffee stick. Because you wouldn't really, from a distance you're not really going to see this, but we'll try it anyway.
not really sure uh, what would work best, but kind of hit and miss. Oh, well, maybe that's the way to do it. All these connections uh, would most likely be affected. Yeah, I think the best application here is just get a little bit of this burnt umber and apply it to uh, the connections because most likely that's where rust would first be seen and then take a toilet roll or a piece of paper and just rub at it and it will fade it away but uh, the colour uh, will remain and uh, be more kind of uh, realistic. So kind of a dry brush effect. Probably a little bit heavy handed there, but still uh, you'll get the effect. So it's quite subtle, but you can see uh, clearly, uh, even from a distance, that yeah, that steelwork is rusted. And then just you know fade it out by rubbing it with a, a piece of paper. You don't want to watch me paint here, so we'll catch up. I realised uh, uh, while reviewing and editing uh, the video that it wasn't very clear how I was doing the rust. So here is the grey without uh, the added little dab of blue. Um, and it's burnt sienna. Yeah, burnt sienna. Uh, use whatever you want, but I chose to use burnt sienna, so I, I'm just going to put a little dab down here, like that, and the black uh, was just to give it a little bit of extra dirty look. Anyway, so all I've done is I, I've picked up a bit of this a piece of tissue paper, rubbed it off and then just dabbed it on and then you can rub it off and you can see it, it gives it that stained look I think that's a, an appropriate level of rust. Um, once again, you just pick up a little bit, kind of rub it off the brush, dab it, and then put it on. And then rub it off a little. But the stain remains. And basically that's what you want to see is a stain. 
and then you can do the same uh, with the black just a little dab will do you get rid of most of it and then rub it on And there you'll see a little bit of black, maybe put it on a little bit heavier if it happens. So that's the kind of look that we're after. A bit of burnt sienna or burnt umber, whatever you want. And a little bit of black in there. Uh, for the staining effect here you can see the difference between the finished painting span and the original fabrication makes quite a different effect Most of these bridges <clears throat> uh, would get pretty dirty through the year with the soot and the exhaust and rain, rust. So if you want to try this, don't be afraid to apply it because uh, there would be lots of it on a bridge that's exposed like this one would be maybe over a river or over a number of uh, railway lines. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, build. Um, I'm not going to be posting anything on the construction for a while in, in terms of the finished project product. I'll have to get the other side finished first. And then I'll come up with uh, a base for it, uh, or the uh, track bed. So I hope you enjoyed this, and a big shout out to Tony Northeastern uh, for inspiring me to do this. Bye for now.